in this question they have given a sector AOB there's a tangent on this uh, circular part of the sector AX and it is making angle alpha with one of the chords that joins A and B in A part they're saying so that AOB angle is equal to 2 alpha so let's do it here let's assume angle AOB equal to X which we have to prove that it is equal to 2 alpha so for the simplicity sake I'm just naming it as X so that my calculations are easier and the angles which are here uh, angle BA O which is equal to angle ABO which is equal to Y so these two angles will be Y why because uh, they are the base angles of an isosceles triangle in mathematics whenever we write something we should give reason why we wrote this so why this angle and this angle are equal because this is an isosceles triangle because two sides are equal both are radii of the sector so in a triangle any triangle the sum of all the interior angles is equal to 180 degree i'm not using radian in this case i'm using 180 degree for simplicity sake again so i can write x plus 2y equal to 180 degrees so i can write uh, x equal to 180 minus 2y right now somewhere else we they have given that angle XAO angle XAO is equal to 90 degrees that means Y plus alpha is 90 degrees right because this angle is alpha this angle is Y and both together are 90 degrees and Y becomes 90 degrees minus alpha and let's substitute this y with its value 90 minus alpha because we want a relationship between x and alpha and this is how we can get it x equal to 180 minus 2 times 90 minus alpha so x will be equal to 180 minus again 180 plus 2 alpha right because this negative and this negative will make it positive 180 and 180 cancel out x which is angle AOB is equal to 2 alpha and this is what they are asking us to show all right find the area of the shaded segment in terms of r and alpha since now they are asking us the area and area of a sector is known to us so area of a sector is half r square theta now we'll move on to radians because this formula is only for radians and we have to find this area in terms of r and alpha so r is already there and r is r can you see here r is r but angle the theta uh, of the sector is x which is now 2 alpha so in place of theta we can use 2 alpha so it will be half r square times 2 alpha 2 and 2 cancel out it is equal to r square alpha this is the area in terms of r and alpha now our aim was to find the shaded part of this sector so we just found sector we have to find the triangle which we will remove from the sector and we'll be left with this shaded part so let's find the area of the triangle area of a triangle is half a b sin c where a b are any two sides of the triangle and the c angle is made by these two sides so let me take uh, again this side which is r and this side o b r and the angle between them now we know is 2 alpha so it will be half r 
r sin 2 alpha so uh, nothing gets cancelled out so it will be half r squared sin 2 alpha now we have both the parts we'll just subtract and we'll get the area of the segment so area of the segment equal to r square alpha which is the area of the sector minus half r square sine 2 alpha which is the area of the triangle this is in terms of r and alpha let's move on to part b all right what are they saying here the figure two in figure two abc is an equilateral triangle of side four centimeter this is the triangle lines ax bx and cx are tangents okay they are tangents to these arcs okay okay uh this is respectively use the results in part a this is important we have to use the results in part a to find the area of the shaded region okay this shaded region we have to find with the help of part a giving your answers in terms of pi and square root three so let's find the area of the triangle first area of triangle triangle is abc by the same formula we use in the first part a part which is half a b sine c all right so we know now numbers half a is let's take any one this four second this four and the angle between them this is an equilateral triangle the angle between the two sides is always 60 degrees which is in radian sine pi by 3 is the angle why i'm using uh, now radians in this because our calculation will be based on radians in circular measure so let's cancel this and this it becomes 2 so 8 and let's write 8 and sine pi by 3 is square root 3 over 2 which is again you can cancel this 4 square root 3 is the area of the equilateral triangle from this we have to subtract this particular area let me show you this area three times because all three segments are of same size we'll find the area of any one segment with the help of first part and then we'll multiplied by three because the three segments are there which we have to remove from the triangle the triangle area is with us now so let me draw this according to the first part all right and this is the tangent this was alpha remember in first part a part this was alpha and here they are saying that this is an equilateral triangle and it is half of this angle which is pi by 3 we just found, know that the equilateral triangles one corner makes pi by 3 so the alpha is equal to half of pi by 3 which is pi by 6 so we have alpha with us let's talk about the radius because in our formula if you remember let's go to the first a part again they wanted us to have the area of the segment in terms of r and alpha so alpha is with us now which is pi by 6 r is unknown and r is uh, to be known let me copy this whole uh, formula for second part okay i have copied it so now look uh, since this is alpha this will be 2 alpha yeah alpha is pi by 6 and again i will multiply this it will we'll again get pi by 3 when we multiply by pi by 6 by 2 let me show you because 2 and 6 will cancel out again we get pi by 3 so this angle here is pi by 3 this is pi by 3 and this is pi by 3 because these two base angles must be equal we knew this earlier so that's why it becomes equilateral triangle this was actually isosceles triangle but because the angles are equal we are sure it is an equilateral triangle that means this is also four centimeter radius this is four centimeter so in this formula we know r equal to four as well so let's find the area of segment here 
4 square alpha is pi by 6, right? 6. All right, minus half 4 square sine 2 pi by 6. So this is one angle. It will be uh, 16 pi over 6 minus 16 over 2 sine 2 and 6 can cancel. Sine pi by 3 is again square root 3 over 2. Let's see if we can cancel. This is cancelled. This is also cancelled. This can be cancelled. Okay. So, we have both the things now and now we want to subtract the area of the segment from the area of the triangle. Area of the triangle was already 4 square root 3. So, let's write this here. 4 square root 3 area of this shaded part equal to area of the triangle minus three times the area of one segment okay so the area of triangle we found out earlier was four square root three so let's go about this which is equal to area of the triangle is four square root three minus three times area of segment we just found out it is eight pi over three minus 4 square root 3 okay so now this is 4 square root 3 so 4 square root 3 will remain this minus 3 times 8 pi over 3 3 and 3 will get cancelled out so we'll be left with only minus 8 pi now this 3 multiplies with this 4 becomes 12 and that is positive this is minus and this is minus plus 12 square root 3 4 square root 3 and 12 square root 3 add up 16 square root 3 minus 8 pi is the final answer of the shaded part.